Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. A few months ago I did a buying guide for CO2 systems. Today we're doing one for lights. And before we get started with this video, I wanna make one thing very, very clear. And the majority of these lights you're gonna see today were all gifted. I've kind of acquired them over the past two years. So they were sponsored, but this is not a sponsored video. Um, I don't owe anything to these companies. They're not asking me to make this video. I'm not getting paid to make this video. So everything that you're gonna hear from me today is just my personal experience and my personal opinion, and there's nothing attached to it. So I currently have about 10 tanks up and running and every single one of them except for the big shallow behind me has a light from either Chihiros or Twinstar. So those are the two brands that we're going to talk about today because those two brands have like a variety of different lights that kind of suit every type of budget. So we're going to split this video up into four sections and with every section we'll go up in budget. So we'll start with the cheapest ones and then we'll work our way up towards the most expensive ones. So let's get straight into it with our budget series. So if you're currently thinking of setting up a planted tank but you don't really have a lot of funds but you still want a strong light, I would recommend the Twinstar B line. So I currently have two of them, one on there over there and one on the cube. So these lights are 30 euros for the 30 centimeter version. So it's literally the cheapest light that I own, but these lights are very, very strong. Now Twinstar sells this as a light for fish keepers. So it's mostly just designed to showcase the colors of your fish and your shrimp and whatever, but they actually do a very, very good job at growing plants as well. Now to kind of show you how well this light grows plants, I'll overlay a clip from the previous layout in this tank. In the tank I didn't have CO2 injection, I didn't have a filter, and the plants in there were growing crazy. I even had a carpet with glossy stigma in there as well, which is quite a demanding plant. So yeah, definitely a good light. Now this is a budget light, so it doesn't really look very fancy. I mean, it just has these simple slide outs here. And this is the 30 centimeters version, but this one can be extended up to 40 centimeters. So I mean, it doesn't really matter what size aquarium you have, this light will fit on there. Uh, it comes in 30 centimeters, it comes in 60 centimeters, 90 centimeters, and 120 centimeters. Yeah, with these sliders, you can adjust it to any size basically. Now, the only thing this light is missing, in my opinion, is a dimmer. So, right now, I'm using a lot of slow growing plants. So, the intensity is actually a bit too much. And because of that, I need to use a lot of floating plants. So, I would really like that this light would have a dimmer included in the box. You can dim it, but you just need to buy a dimmer separately. So that was the Twinstar B line. My second budget recommendation would be the Chihiros A series. I currently do not have one right here. But this was actually the first LED light that I bought when I was still fairly new to aquascaping. So I think when I first started aquascaping, I was using CFL bulbs, but then I really got into these high-tech setups. So I wanted an LED light, and the first one that I bought was the Chihiros A series. This one is slightly more expensive. I think it's 40 euros, like 10 euros more expensive than the uh, Twinstar B line for the 30 centimeter version, of course. But this one does have a manual dimmer included. So I think it's like a small seven or eight step dimmer. And yeah, I mean, for 40 euros, it's a very, very powerful light and you can pretty much grow any plants with that as well. So if you are, if you have limited funds, I would say either the Twinstar B line or the Chihiros A series. Okay, then we're moving on to the next category. So the next two recommendations are for people who want a little bit more luxury, but they still don't want to spend a whole lot of money on their aquarium light. First one is the Twinstar C line. So this one is just a step up from the B line, a little bit more expensive. I think the 30 centimeter version of this one is 60 euros. So let's say double the price of the B line. Um, but it's a bit more fancy. I mean, it looks almost exactly the same. It's a little bit broader, has more LEDs, it's more powerful. And this one has a dimmer as well. So on the side here, we have a button. It's a 15 step dimmer. So we have 15 different intensities. And this light also has a soft start. So when you switch it on, it will like, within a few seconds, it will bump up to the, it will like ramp up to the intensity. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Besides that, it's still a very basic light. It does have RGB lights. We have a variety of white, blue, red, and green LEDs. And I've been using this one for, let's say, six months. And I had some pretty good results with it. I mean, it's not the most powerful light, but it will grow most of your plants. Okay, then my second recommendation for this category is this light right here, the Chihiros A2 series. And I'm a big fan of this one. It's a little bit more expensive, 30 centimeter version of this one is 70 euros, so like 10 euros more expensive than the Twinstar C line. 
but in my opinion it's definitely worth it if i had to choose between the c line or this one i would go with this one basically just because this light comes with an app and the Chihiro's app in my opinion just works very very well like you can set the intensity uh, you can set the schedule and it just works you know another thing i like about this light is that you can um, adjust the position so kind of yeah you can just move it around to whatever you like so if you for example have more stems in the background you can kind of tilt it that way it just works very very well and yeah i mean besides that it's just just a good light it's nicely built i like those um, acrylic stands i just like the design of it as well okay moving up so we're now in the third category so this one is for people who want to be able to grow pretty much any type of plant you know so we're now we're getting to the fancy stuff my first recommendation is the chihiros wrgb2 slim uh, this light is 100 euros for the 30 centimeter version so we're definitely getting more expensive but I think you get a lot for that money. So I just showed you the A2 series where we could already control the intensity and make a nice schedule within the app. With this light, we can also adjust the colors within the app. So it's an RGB light it has RGB LEDs. And within the app, we can change the reds, change the greens, change the blues to whatever we like, basically. I like that very, very much. And another thing I like is the uh, adjustable arms again. So this is the 30 centimeter light, but we can extend it all the way up to 45 centimeters so i'm currently using this one on the cpd river that aquarium is 40 centimeters it's a bit hard to get a light for 40 centimeters tanks because it's a very specific size but because of this one because of the adjustability this light fits there perfectly then in the same price range we have the twin star e line so we've already talked about the b line the c line this is the e so just another step up and you can definitely see that in the design this one is just looking much better much more sleek Everything is smooth and soft. Um, they used to actually come in two versions. So here I again have the adjustable version with the slide outs. But this one is also available with acrylic legs that are just fixed. Actually, that's looking very, very clean. I like that. But it just doesn't fit on this aquarium. Um, in terms of price, this one is 100, 105 euros for the 30 centimeter version. So it's actually 5 euros more expensive than the Slim. But yeah, with Twinstar, you don't get an app. I mean, I personally really like having an app on my aquarium lights but if you're the kind of person who just wants a good light that has a good spectrum then this is the one for you i mean it's a bit hard to see right now because i've actually trimmed the stems but i mean the color rendition of this light is just amazing and everything is just looking super colorful vivid and just natural you know there's no how i say there's no overly saturated colors so yeah i'm a big big fan of the e-line as well and that brings us to the last category. So with these next two suggestions, you will be able to grow the most demanding plants, get the best colors, get the best plant growth. Yeah, these next two lights really are the best of the best, in my opinion. I think if you want the best bang for your buck Chihiro's light, I would recommend the Chihiro's WRGB2. So I just showed you the slim in the previous category. Then this right here is the pro, but there's actually a regular WRGB2 as well. And I'm a big fan of that version. I think that one is the best bang for your buck. But it depends a little bit on the size of your gram, so it's not a one size fits all. So I would say if your gram is between 30 to 45 centimeters, I would suggest that just stick with the slim. The slim is powerful enough for that size. If you wanna have it, if you have a tank between 45 and like 90 centimeters, I would say go with the regular WRGB2. And if your tank is 90 centimeters and above, I would say go with the Pro. Because, I mean, if you stick your WRGB2 Pro on a 30 centimeter gram, you're just going to have way too much power. And you'll never use that light on, on its full potential, you know. So then it's just a bit of a waste of money. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these lights. It is quite a big of a price up. I mean, the Slim was 100 euros for 30 centimeters. The regular WRGB2 is 170 euros for 30 centimeters. And the Pro is 200 euros for 30 centimeters. So definitely more expensive. And then my last recommendation for this video is the Twinstar S series. So this is the flagship model from Twinstar. It's the most expensive one. I think 30 centimeter version of this, of this one is 140 euros. So it's actually not too bad, especially compared to the Chihiros. But this light, guys, I mean, I've only been using it since July. This is the first thing that I'm using it on. But the plant growth here is basically some of the best I've ever had. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, especially the Rotala, the Rotala H1, the red stem plant. I've never had it be this red. It's crazy. Um, yeah, what can I say, guys? If you are looking for a light that has the perfect color rendition, that just does what it needs to do, grow plants, grow plants in the best way, then this is, I think, the ultimate light. 
That's it guys, just a quick simple buying guide. Those are my personal favorites. And I hope that this is useful for anyone who is looking to set up a new planter tank and needs some light recommendations. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. See you next time.